Hi, I'm Daniel LaFaro. I'm the director of the LaFaro Labs at George Mason University. Now, have you guys had a problem where you have a robot and you have a bunch of people that want to monitor this robot all at the same time, but all this data is coming to one computer, so everyone's huddled around this one computer. Well, I always have that problem, so we developed a way to surpass that. Now, we had a few constraints that we had to uh, get around, oh, one of which is uh, bandwidth. Uh, we don't want to affect the robot's actual bandwidth because, as we know, less bandwidth for something, um, the worse it reacts typically. Uh, we want to be accessible. Um, that means when we're working with other users, whether they're engineers, psychologists, etc., we don't want to have them ha have to use any special software or hardware. And in addition, it has to be intuitive, uh, easy to use. Uh, so uh, with, with the work uh, with myself, uh, Will Hilton, and the other people at the Drexel Time Systems Lab and the um, Music Entertainment Lab um, at uh, Drexel University, we developed what we call Hubo in a Browser. Uh, this is a web interface uh, for um, robots where you can see the actual uh, the state of the robot, whether it's the uh, current usage, the actual joint space uh, information, the pose of the robot, and all the sensor data through your browser. Now, uh, this is uh, through a solution we called um, cloud, uh, uh, via using the cloud. Um, the reason why we do this uh, is because we want n number of people uh, to be able to access this data at the same time. Now, the way we do this is we have uh, two separate clouds running, one of which is a private cloud. Uh, that is on the same network as the robot. So if you're on the network as the robot, you log in, you open up your web interface, uh, and you can view the robot. But we also have an ex a public cloud which is available on the internet. Now the reason why we do this uh, is that uh, if you are um, in field robotics and your robot out in the field and it can communicate with your uh, main base station uh, via high power directional antenna, but your computer might not have one of those, You're, you'd be unable to talk with that robot. However, you would be able to talk with the internet. So we pipe um, the state data of the robot up to a uh, Firebase server, um, which will then disseminate um, that data back to you uh, through the 3G, 4G cellular networks. Uh, that way leveraging uh, the networks we already have built in uh, in our society already. Uh, so this really allows uh, you to monitor your robots wherever you are uh, using cloud systems. But one of the key points is one of the reasons why we chose the uh, web interface is because we wanted to run this on uh, Mac, Linux, and PCs, and as, as well as mobile devices. And all these devices have a web interface uh, built in. So if we conform to those standards, then you'd be able to run it on any system you want without having to install special software or a special hardware. And that really brings the accessibility to this uh, out to others uh, in the population, not just uh, engineers or people with uh, very specific skill sets.